Hey guys, we are back. Today we are at South Hoof. So I have to care for my horse really fast. And then we will just go along and do some races. I low-key apologize for like my last video I made playing this game, I was just ranting, which like I had to, you know, because like this, I just feel like the community gets like stressful sometimes. Not the community. Yeah, it is. Listen, the game, we can't really change that, whatever, but we can change the community, but a lot of people don't want to change, which I find just very like, just kind of stressful. Like, I don't like the bias in the community. Like, Let's talk about all the issues that are on this side, but let's never mention the pros and cons of the others. Let's hide info. Let's not talk about this. Let's pretend that every player is happy, or let's pretend that every player is upset. You know, like, I just... I don't know. I don't like that kind of stuff because I find it just very biased. Like, ever since I got called a bad influence for buying horses, I really have just realized that there's lots of bias in the community like if the community is white knight side of it or a dark knight side of it either side is just hard to deal with that's why i'm so middle ground because at this point like what else am i supposed to be you know but yeah so i have no clue what i'm doing from now on i guess like i'm really having fun playing this game though so yeah, but the sad thing is, this is like a- this game counts as abandonware, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, because like, once I finish this game, like, I can't play with other people on it, I can't have holidays on here, you know what I mean? It's not the same as Old Star Stable from 2016, 2015, you know? So I have no clue what to do after I finish this. I know I could just talk about, like, other Star Stable topics, and I probably will. It's just so exhausting. It really is. Like, that sounds so petty. Like, it's so exhausting to talk about issues in a game. I know it sounds very, like, it sounds really petty, but I swear it does get like that because you're not discussing an issue. That's all. You're also having to, like, debate with other people and it's just a lot sometimes because you never feel heard which like I remember when I first got started a lot of people who wanted a better game old players a lot of players said they felt unheard and ironically I guess I still feel unheard but not by the game I did but at this point like although I feel unheard from the game like Star Stable Online I feel also really unheard by the community itself. Like, if you quit the game, which I kind of have, I guess, if you quit the game, you no longer feel heard or unheard by the game. You just feel like you left, so what does it matter? But now it's like the community of that game kind of just like now doesn't want to hear your perspective ever. They're the ones that are right, which I find really crazy how... We have to- I find it crazy how we are expected to pick sides in this game because, like, it's a game and not everyone plays for the same reasons. So, yeah. I just don't think it's fair how a lot of players will treat each other. You can't dislike a horse, you can't buy a horse, you can't not buy a horse, you can't say you want to quit, you can't say you are going to quit, you can't quit the game, but you can't play the game, you can't give constructive criticism, you can't give no criticism, like, you can't just live. Like, I don't know. I've never seen this in other gaming communities, so maybe it's just, like, me. But the way I felt outcasted from the game is the way I feel outcasted from the gaming community now. Because, like, the way people will DM you and the way they comment mean stuff, or just the way some people talk about you or talk to you, it's just a lot for no reason. 
so I guess I'm like really burned out from Star Stable online, but also just I don't see a point in even talking about that game anymore sometimes because it doesn't matter what I say. Because like they're not gonna change for me anyway, you know? I don't know. I'm just... At least we have the old games, though. You know, we, we could still play Star Trek Legacy, we could still play Old Star Stable. Congrats. Do I level up at all anymore? I haven't leveled up for a while. So I'm guessing that's the final level. I'm gonna care for my horse really quick because my horse is, like, struggling over here. I have no water, though. I think I also feel kind of outcasted because, like, I don't pick sides, which, like, I can't anyway because, like, I don't feel strongly enough or, I think, biased enough to pick a side. I'm just, like, in between, you know? So I think that's also what can make people upset, too. Because they're, like, pick a side, but, like, I don't because there's no reason to. Because I'm not gonna white knight for the game and be like, it's amazing! Because I don't feel like that. I also can't fake that behavior. I'm sure being a white knight would make me way more popular, but I can't fake anything. So, I'm not gonna do that. And I'm sure being a Dark Knight would also make me more popular as well. You know, like, the game has issues. It never does anything good, but like, I can't fake that either, you know? Because like, seeing both sides is way easier. And I think a lot of people don't like that I'm middle ground. Which, like, I can't change that, you know? Like, I'd rather be middle ground because if I pick a side in the game, it's too serious then, you know? Like, if you're a white knight, and if you say, I dislike this horse, all of a sudden, people are upset at you. But if you say, you're a dark knight, and you want to buy a horse, all of a sudden, everyone's upset at you. You can't win. So, being middle ground, yeah, you're kind of outcasted, but at least you know where you, uh... At least you're, I think, more free in a way, because although you're outcasted, you could just do whatever you want because who's gonna stop you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I could say the Frisian horse is ugly, but I'm still gonna buy it. You can't do anything about that because I don't pick sides, you know? Like, you're just freer that way. But also, there's no point in me picking sides anyway because, like, I don't- I'm not gonna do that because there's no point. I mentioned in one of the last videos, though, that our next best game is probably Astride, and a lot of people don't agree because Astride doesn't have anything magical to it. So I get it, totally. But at the same time, like, I'm sure it'll make a lot of older players happy. And I'm sure a magical horse game will eventually return, like... There has to be somebody out there making a game about a magical horse, like, story or something. Like, there's a lot of people who want Belisera to return, a lot of people who want the old Star Stable games to return, just old magical horse games in general. So I think somebody will eventually see that and be like, oh, cool, there's an audience, and then make that game a reality. It's just really expensive to make games, so until somebody comes along that can afford to do that, um, yeah, we're kind of just, like, stuck with our old games and that's it.
We got the gold medal! Congrats, you did it. We did that. Yes, we did. So, the only race we have left is... The one in Veildale, which is so hard to do. I don't see any apples. There's one over here, I think. But, yeah, I was trying to collect apples so I would have them, like, stockpiled, but that didn't really work. This makes me want to go to, like, an apple orchard. Like, you know how in the autumn you might go to a farm? Like, a petting zoo or something? Like, I miss doing that. And then you get apple cider. Awesome. So that's it for today. I will come back tomorrow. Bye!